everyone. Um, we're going to have another monologist now. I'm not sure that's even a word. But I'd like to welcome Mr. Steve Price. Ladies and gentlemen, can we get a one word suggestion for Mr. Steve Price? Tom Bowler. Tom Bowler. Tom Bowler. <laughs> the Bingo Company. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> By Tom Bowler. Do you mean, um, please share with us your incredible lovemaking techniques? <laughs> or do you just mean Tom Bowler, right? Why don't we? When I was a child, we used to, does everyone remember? This is going into Michael McIntyre territory. <laughs> do you remember? Oh, do you remember when he was at school and that? And um, used to go to a, a fate at school and that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah so do I. Um, my dad once built um, a tombola machine. It's not really a machine, it's a box on hinges. Um, <laughs> Much of a tale to be honest, but it is true. But that's <laughs> <laughs> and he also built this, it was a kind of a, um, it was an arrow on a big board. This is still not much of a tale. <laughs> um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> spin it, or you lay down flat and you spin it. Six. <laughs> I <have> five. <laughs> Um, when, when I, I'm going to do a Dave Spike here and just, go, just segue into something else entirely unrelated to what I've just been talking about. While I was at school, <laughs> there was a mosaic competition, right? In my class, who could do the best mosaic? Um, right, Mark Fryer. Does anyone know him? <laughs> <laughs> Very high expectations in that family. He had two older brothers. One was a pilot in the RAF. One was a doctor. He became a dentist, Mark, in the end. Not spoken to him for about 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> he entered the mosaic competition, right? I don't know. I imagine I went to it. It would be something quite basic, you know, rustic. I'm not a show off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got artistic integrity. <laughs> He did this, it was a kingfisher. Now what he'd done, I'm saying, I reckon it was about eight. Let's say eight. <laughs> it was very intricate. He'd done every feather of the kingfisher in a perfect shape, right? It was a, it was a beautiful work. You could have hung in it, hung in it. <laughs> <laughs> on your wall. You would have looked out of place in a modern home. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think the kids at school said? You've not done that on your own! Far too intricate, your mum's helped you with that! Right? His mum used to give us a lift back from school. It was a Fiat Uno. Be <laughs> 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 red, red. <laughs> oh, many a happy morning spending that Uno. <laughs> I'll digress, right? His family were quite, as I said, they were quite middle class well to do. But there was a funny. He used to go round to his house in the morning, it was a slightly funny smell, couldn't put your finger on where it was. Uh, and my brother would always start laughing, and they'd say, and they'd say, oh, what are you laughing at? Oh, Steve just told me a joke. And I hadn't. <laughs> what can I say? Can't say your house stinks, can I? <laughs> um, so anyway, we're back in the, back in the car. Uh, and he's a bit dejected, because he's got a picture of the mosaic, and he's won. It was the best mosaic. We all agree. But he'd been mocked for it, you know, and that's it's tarnished the victory there for him. And he said to his mum, I'm ruddy sick of it. <laughs> she said, I will not have that language in my theatre. <laughs> 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 